Hello everybody, my name is Aaron. Welcome back to a brand new video. And uh I'm here to review the well the SA figure arts uh Dragon Ball Z Vegeta uh power level 200 240 2400 That's literally what I said. Well twenty four thousand. This is basically the Namek Saga version of Scout of Vegeta, where he first arrived in Namek, where he fought, where he uh, killed Pre, where he killed Kui, killed the Doria, almost won against Zarba in the first fight, then killed him in the second fight, then fought the Ganyu Force. So this is basically a version of Vegeta where he fought, uh, where he uh, fought Kui, Zarba, and the Doria, and the Ginyu Force. And uh, he comes with he comes with another face, but I uh, I got you gotta go buy Kui for that. I had not bought the catfish because the catfish figure, because that figure comes come with the dirty firework uh, hand. You know the one move he did to Kui in the in the Namek Saga. I love that move. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, uh, this figure we have the figure right here. This guy's uh he's a mixed bag. <laughs> okay, listen. I'm biased toward Vegeta. Everyone knows it. He's my favorite Dragon Ball character of all time. But I cannot lie, say that this figure is something. The good. Okay. Uh, face scopes are good, except for one. This uh face right here. I I know that uh, you can put this on other Vegeta figures, because it look it look way better on them. Just saying. Two. Uh, you can take you can take the shoulders off and. And you'll have you'll have that one uh you'll have the armor the outfit the Vegeta wore when he fought Frieza, and you know what I'm talking about. That that outfit was just sick, peak Vegeta outfit in my opinion before he went Super Saiyan. And uh, the colors are really cool. It's so anime accurate. I love it. It's a it's a weird metallic it's a weird metallic shading, and I. And I am all here for it. So let's talk about why I do not like this figure that much. Okay, so this is how far his arms go up from here to uh to here. Right, by the way, uh, unlike the previous guy Vegeta, you know, I'm talking about the the, the first 2.0 version. If you want, if you want to get your arm to go up this far, you gotta do this to the figure to move his shoulder pads. And yeah. This figure is uh <laughs> the figure this figure frustrates the heck out of me, not gonna lie. So yeah, this is how far he goes up for here to here. He's limited unfortunately. This is how far his knees go up. This is how far he goes for posing as well. And uh, oh yeah, this too. I don't know why they did this. I don't know why they did this. This was this figure was so. This figure has so much weird uh, composures. I, I don't. It's it's weird. I can say. Sorry about that. It's weird. This figure is. This figure is weird to say. Good articulation. Not all, not all good. His articulation is limited. It's, it's just, it's okay. I can't say it's good, but it's okay. But he comes with like a accessory that will show off. Good paint scope. Good metal. Good paint scope. What's the metal? Yeah, the good paint scope he has. He, I love that yeah, they took all. They took everything from. The anime and put in this figure. That, I like that. I don't like this. I don't like this figure though. His articulation is just so weird. Turles is a way better figure art. And I, and I actually like that Turles figure art. This guy is just something else to say to say at least. Speaking of Turles, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the next episode of Defender next month. So yeah, that's, I haven't forgot about that. I just been working a lot, and since now it's summertime, 
Your boy will be cooking this this summer. Don't worry. So let's go on to his uh, so-called accessory. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't come with a lot of accessories. That's for sure. Okay, so let's go on to his faces. Here we have a serious green face. But I'll be honest with you, this is this face. This face uh, screams Vegeta because well, Vegeta's always in a grinning mood. If you want the early Z days, here we have an angry face. And here we have his, uh, I'm gonna kill your face! I did not like this face. This is my least favorite. I gotta get, I, I gotta get Kree, unfortunately, Rick, one day. Because Kree come with the, Kree come with a Vegeta face and a dirty fireworks hand accessory. So you can recreate the one scene that Vegeta uh, did when he killed Kree. You come with the cross arm. And let me say, these cross arms are not the same cross arms from from the previous 2.0 Vegeta. These, these ones suck. So, to, to put these in, you gotta take out, you, to put these bad boys in, you gotta take out this, these whole, you, you gotta take out both these arms, literally, this, both these arms to put these in. Unfortunately, once this side does not want to stay on for this. <laughs> So I so I had so I had to be careful because that reminds me of my first copy of the 2.0 Piccolo because that first copy that first copy of that figure did not want to keep his cross arms in. All right, that out of the way. His hand accessories. It's the it's the same as Vegeta, you know. He got he come with two key blast hands. You can somewhat create you can uh recreate iconic move with the Gala Gun <laughs> You have a uh, two uh you have you have a two stress you have a like, two uh I'm gonna blow you I'm gonna blow you up hand. Basically a big bang attack hand before he made the big bang attack. And two regular uh open open hand that's all he comes with yeah this vegeta this vegeta this vegeta's uh how can i say this this figure is uh oh buy it this figure cost me like 60 dollars on premium bandai <laughs> just want to point that out and uh about and this is the u.s release not the japanese release and uh this figure how can i say this how can i say this nicely he's He's uh he's lackluster, you kinda of say. He's not bad, but at the same time, I wish he could have been better, that's all. Now on the size comparison, but before that, to show you what I'm talking about how I said his face can be on to show you what I'm talking about when I say that uh you can put his head on other figure Vegeta on other Vegeta figure. Here's the here's the original two point oh Vegeta I have right here. Here's the head, all right. Oh shit. Much better, okay. Bro, hold up. Got it. Not the best, but it's something. Here. Here's what he looks like. 
with uh with this head. Oh my goodness. He looks way better with this head on. I'm not gonna lie. He literally he he literally looks so good with that. You can't even tell. This Vegeta head's more accurate than this one. No, literally, this one's more accurate to Vegeta. Ah, oh, man, so good. <laughs> All right. And my life fell. That's wonderful. <sighs> Today's a good Wednesday, everyone. Oh, yeah, happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Come on, come on, come on, stand there. Da, 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 da. Dead. Sorry. All right, side comparison. So here for the, with the, with the two point oh Scalar Vegeta from the Saiyan Saga. Here, here we have a superhero Vegeta. It's a Vegeta bloodline. <laughs> Here you have a Super Saiyan Vegeta. Oh yeah, they're not tired of Vegeta, my favorite character. But I think you guys already knew that from all my videos, I review a, I view a, a certain Vegeta figure from Super Saiyan 4. From uh, Majin Vegeta, well, this Super Saiyan Vegeta. Now this guy, yeah, Vegeta's my favorite character of all time in uh, anime. And uh, I just, I have so much respect for this for this character. And my Mayfax car just fell. That's wonderful. Okay, uh, let's compare it to uh, let, let's compare it to other lines. Why is everything falling right now? Before I compare him to other lines, I compare him to other characters. Here he is with, uh, with the reissue of uh, Proud, Namekian, and Piccolo. Here he is with next to Krillin. Shout out to Donald Do Shout out to Donald Doya. I love that guy's content. Here he is with Lord Fraser. Come on, come on, stand you. Oh, bruh. I say no, no one wants to stand up today. The 4.0 Super Saiyan Goku that came out last year. I still gotta review this guy. I did not worry. I'm going to this year. I'm going to review. I'm going to review him once Full Power Freezer comes out in uh, August. So, yeah, you get two videos for the price of one. All right, here's the Namek Saga crew. Literally. All right, let's, let's get him out of the way. Here, here we have a few other figure arts that are that are from Dragon Ball, but still, uh, it's, it's Tomashi related. Here, 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 here with the freaking uh, with the SA figure art Volderad. Here, here, here with uh, Gotchard. And just oh, oh, my bad. And just because here, here with the Dragon Stars Omega Shenron.
All right, and that's it. Overall, this figure, yeah, no, he's not that good. I felt disappointed, you can say, about this guy. Sorry, I my camera. But yeah, I felt like I felt like I was disappointed with this guy. I love Vegeta. He's my favorite Dragon Ball character of all time. But I'm not gonna lie, they did this figure not that good. Articulation could have been better. I don't like what I what I'm seeing with this. And uh, the arms not the arms not staying on this side. It's fucking annoying. You probably wonder why. This piece right there does not want to uh, work with me every time I put the cross arms in and that's annoying and it frustrates me so much. Like the figure could have been so good and all. It could have been, I could totally see it being my top 10. It's just, uh, yeah, no, he was just wasted. No, that's all I can say. I wish he can. I wish he could have been done better. Well, you can you can put this head on any Vegeta body because this Vegeta head is so accurate to uh to any to to all the bodies to all the, the Vegeta figure you could put on. Literally, you can really make this. You can really make this head into a base form Vegeta head for all your figures, for all your Vegeta figures, and uh, it will look so good on them. But yeah. Besides that, this figure, it's not the best. It could have been better. Not the biggest fan with, with how the, with how the uh, articulation, with, with the armor, and, uh, and the posability. Like the metallic blue. Um, metallic blue, I see. But, uh, yeah, no, this figure could have been, this figure could have been way better. And it's just disappointing that he wasn't. If I had to rank this figure, I think Tamashi does. I think Tamashi deserves a uh, eh, eh, eh. a five point six out of ten. This figure's average. Could be better, but it's not bad to Qui Gon. S A figure Qui Gon. I've just felt unsatisfied with him. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social medias in the description. And uh, yeah, put the notification button on for my next video. My goal this year is to hit 1,000 subs. And if you guys can help, we can do that. I know all you guys are not subscribed. So please, subscribe to this channel so we can hit that goal. And share this video with your friends and family as well. And yeah, thank, thank you all for watching. My name is Aaron. And I'm out. In the next video I'll reveal will be on a Bam Presto figure. I'm thinking about I'm thinking about bringing those to the channel very really soon. And uh probably the SH figure come where it got Shark Gold Dash bike. Because I wanna talk about that bike. It, and I love Gotchar, so yay. And plus it's Comrade related. So so yeah. Tune up till next time guys. Enjoy the pictures. Bye bye. Oh, boy.